Go. Thank you. I... Okay, today we are going to uh, experimentally derive Lenz's law. So first things first, we have galvanometers here. For those teachers that are watching this, the galvanometers are in series. Why is that important? Because that way you can have the entire classroom seeing what you're doing uh, without having to move the galvanometer back and forth. Uh, a galvanometer uh, is actually just an ammeter that records microamps. So it's a very sensitive galvan, a very sensitive ammeter. If you'll notice here, we have red going into black, and then red going through the circuit back to black. Um, what I want you to see, because some students were a little confused about this, if current goes into the black, into the red, it will come out the black. Following the circuit, it will then go into the red here and out the black here. So again, because the way the charges work, if they're going in, they must go out on the other side, otherwise the circuit wouldn't be working. So let's find out how the, uh, the, amp, the galvanometers actually work. I have here a uh, 1.5 volt battery, just a basic Duracell. Why did I pick a Duracell versus anything else? Because it has that copper top and it's very easy to see. That's the positive. I guess I could use a marker there to show that. So this shows the direction of positive current flow. That right there is a 6.6 a uh, kilo ohm resistor, it's 6,600 ohms. Why? Because I have to get the current low enough so that it will read on the galvanometer and not hurt the galvanometer. So looking at the galvanometer, I'm going to connect the circuit and if the positive current is flowing into the red, it reads positive. Okay, again, looking over here at the circuit, the positive current flow is going into the red side of the galvanometer. And that's why it reads again positive. Now let's switch the battery around so that the positive current flow is flowing into the negative. So watching the galvanometer, it reads negative. So we now have an indicator. All this circuit is showing us is proving to us what the galvanometer tells us. If positive current flow flows into the red, it reads positive. If positive current flow flows into the black, it reads negative. So up here on the board, I'm going to write this down. If it reads positive, then positive current into the positive terminal. If it reads negative, then the positive current goes into the negative side. That's all it's telling us is which side the current is flowing in or out. 